Hello, sixth grade beginner band. I'm Samantha Bindo, and I will be um, showing French horn how to get everything set up. Um, make sure you have your beginner binder, or just your binder. This is my seventh grade binder. I don't have my sixth grade binder, but I'm going to demonstrate how to open your, get out your French horn. Um, how to put it together, which is not that hard, how to get everything set up if you are having difficulties, which your teacher should be, should help you with that, but let's get started. Um, on how to open your contour case, um, lay it down straight. I like to call this the hump. Um, it should be on your left side when opening it. So like when y'all are looking at me, it should be on the right. But when it when I'm looking at it, it would be on the left. Um, you should have um, three opening slots, whatever they're called. And when you're opening it, you should have your um, like more things on the top. It should look like this. I forgot what to call them. Um, before starting anything, make sure to close your French horn case and set it back up and leave it away from you. Um, whenever you're sitting down, you're going to hold your French horn like this. Or whenever you're standing up, you're going to hold it like this, where the bell is in the back and your arm's going to rest right here. And then you're going to have a binder and you're going to have um, a pencil case. And you should have everything you need in there. You're going to get out your mouthpiece. And you should know what your mouthpiece looks like. Should be this. And you're going to want to put it on your French horn. Don't jam it in there. Just lightly put it in and twist. And then, you should have slide grease in there, and I guess you're going to need valve oil. I don't really know if you're going to use this, but I didn't use it. And you should have your pencil in your pencil case. At the moment, I don't need to slide grease anything, but when you need to slide grease something, which means you're... Um, your slides won't come out, or like any of them. But, oh, make sure whenever you're taking them out, hold down, um, I forgot what they're called, sorry. <laughs> make sure to hold those down, um, whatever they're called. And whenever you're opening the back, whenever you're pulling out the back ones, make sure to hold down trigger and the top ones. Um, take your slide grease. I'm going to show you what to do. So I don't actually, I don't have a paper towel at the moment. So I'm going to use my shirt. When doing this, you want to make sure that you get the extra grease off, which is making it get stuck because that's old ghost grease. And then you're going to want to get your slide grease. It, looks like chapstick don't don't use it as chapstick and you're going to lightly put it everywhere on these ones don't go anywhere down where it stops at the line right here that's where you're going to put all your slide grease and then you're going to use your finger and you're going to rub it everywhere if you don't have enough to make sure to put enough but yeah, I don't have enough. Then again, get your finger and rub it around. Make sure to get in the creases right here because usually some people forget that. And don't put too much. Um, you don't want a lot. A, a lot could probably like do something. I just heard that you don't put a lot. 
you don't put too much slide grease on there. And don't use your clothes to do this. You can get your clothes ruined. Just make sure to have a paper towel or like a wipey to do it. And then you're going to put it back in. Remember the way that you put it in because you can't really fit this. You can't fit it this way. It won't go in that way. You have to make sure this is not pointing directly to you. It's pointing to everyone else. So like to, towards your teacher or towards your camera. And you're just going to slide it in. Make sure to hold it down because it might do a popping sound too. And you can, it will come in and out easily. And again, um, say, like, say you are holding your instrument and you're getting ready to play, but before you have to play, you want to use the restroom. So you're going, what you're going to do is instead of going to the restroom, um, with your instrument, you're going to have a chair. So let me go and let me get this chair right here. What you're going to do is once you ask your teacher, you are going to put your instrument right down here and make sure it's safe down there and then you can go and use the restroom. So like you don't want anyone to bump into your bell or into your mouthpiece where it can get jammed in there. You want to make sure that it's safe under your chair. Never put it on top of your chair because when somebody or like something hits it, it will fall and it will break your, um, your bell where you can't play. So that should be everything that you need to know about your um, how to get your French horn all put together and I get, I, let me actually show you probably how to put it up open it the same way you're getting it out and it's actually going to show you how where everything goes make sure you take your mouthpiece off because you don't want your mouthpiece in there and put it in there how you took it out And that's how you get your instrument put together, took it out, put back up, and what you need to do whenever you come across something that needs to be fixed on your instrument, which I don't really know how to fix bearings or whenever you lose string, that will be all teached with your teacher. I didn't really get that taught, but that's how you do with a French horn. Thank you.